eBay is one of the best places to buy used stuff from. It's also probably the best place to get weird, unusual, useless, pointless crap from. So join us as we count the 10 weirdest things sold on eBay. Number 10. A ghost in a jar. A jar found in an abandoned cemetery reportedly haunted by a ghost was put up for auction by an Arkansas seller and fetched just under $56,000 when the eBay auction closed. Apparently, the owner of this wonderful item was being terrorized by the paranormal being in the jar and wanted to get rid of it for his own good. Naturally, selling it was his best idea. To be fair to the guy, he did say he did not take any responsibility for what happened to the buyer after receiving his captive ghost. While the winning bid for the jar actually reached $55,992, the winner of the auction did not pay for the ghost, either in fear of their newfound spectre or in a moment of clarity giving the cost of said ghost. Number 9. Illinois Cornflake there's no doubt that Americans can be patriotic, but I do think this is taking things to a new level. In 2008, two sisters from Virginia sold a cornflake that was shaped like the state of Illinois. The winning bidder was a Texas owner of a trivia website who was collecting pop culture memorabilia and Americana items, including the cornflake, to add to a traveling museum. While the resemblance is actually uncanny for a cereal, for the price tag, I'd be a bit worried about my cornflake suddenly breaking in half. Number 8. Haunted Rubber Duck Another haunted item that actually sold on eBay. The item in question was a rubber duck that made the owner's child act possessed when around the toy. The child also threw the duck as far away from him as he could whenever he got the chance. The seller actually wrote an incredibly detailed account of his family's ordeal with the duck, named Yella, including the intervention of the family pastor. Incredibly, even after describing the demonic deeds of the duck and warning potential buyers that the seller will not be responsible for the duck after shipping, will not field questions or help to explain its unusual mystique, and stating he wants nothing to do with it, the duck still had 41 bids, and sold after a week, making him a profit of $107.50. Fifty cents. Number 7. Virgin Mary Grilled Cheese A Miami woman's 10-year-old grilled cheese sandwich, which had a bite taken out of it, bore the resemblance of the Virgin Mary to many eyes, including the maker of the sandwich. Jewelry maker Diana Dicer believes she was staring back at the Virgin Mary after taking the first bite of that fateful grilled cheese and immediately put it into a plastic bag, where it never collected even one spore of mold for a decade. After finally deciding to sell the item, online casino GoldenPalace.com would not stop at anything to obtain the piece of what they call pop culture, ultimately paying $28,000 for the sandwich. Number 6. Carrie Smith's Forehead Utah mother Carrie Smith wanted a better financial future for her son Brady, hoping to be able to get him to pay for his college education. In a moment of inspiration, or perhaps insanity, Smith decided that the best and quickest way to raise some money to get for her son was to become a walking billboard. If Smith actually put in a bit of effort and thought into this, I'm sure she would have been able to come up with an idea that didn't involve turning her forehead into advertising space. Nevertheless, the 30-year-old auctioned off her forehead and and vowed to tattoo any slogan across it to any company that would fork out for her asking price of $10,000. Like the Virgin Mary grilled cheese, GoldenPalace.com just couldn't resist, and after two days on eBay, the online casino clicked buy now, paying Smith the full $10,000. While she maintained her promise of tattooing goldenpalace.com in black ink across her forehead. When she asked the tattoo artist, who spent nearly 10 hours trying to talk her out of the tattoo, if her forehead would go numb while getting inked, he replied, It'll go as numb as your brain. High five to you, sir. Number 5. The right to name a baby. In 2009, a 36-year-old Arkansas woman, Lavon Drummond, found herself unemployed and in a bit of financial trouble while pregnant with her seventh child. In order to ease the financial burden of raising a household as well as repairing the family vehicle and paying overdue bills, Drummond had an epiphany on how to potentially make some quick money, selling the rights to name her unborn child, her second son, on eBay. The idea apparently just came to 
Drummond and she quickly took to the auction site and posted the item for sale. Unfortunately for Levon Drummond, eBay was less receptive to her auction and shut the first fall down, though they had reached a combined total of over $41,000. The fifth and final auction actually reached a sale at the end of August 2009 for the grand sum of $6,800, but the winning bidder told Drummond he was just trying to help the auction and had no intentions of actually paying her, nor naming her baby. With her son due in mid-September, Drummond gave up on her fifth failed auction. In all fairness, I think this was for the best. No matter how much money it raises, I'm not sure how much her son would have enjoyed being called supercalifragilisticexpialidocious or whatever other nonsense he might have been named. Number 4. Silicone Rubber Tapeless Foreskin Tugger Perhaps the most affordable item on our list today, and yet somehow probably the least desirable. If you're circumcised, chances are you have no idea what you're missing. The foreskin you were born with was meant to protect your glands, keeping it supple and sensitive. Now you can get back some of that sensation that was taken from you. 200,000 men are restoring their foreskins, and where that statistic came from I have no idea. So please, if you're currently in the process of restoring your foreskin, let us know in the comments below. Number 3. Bridgeville, California 260 miles north of San Francisco and with 25 residents lays Bridgeville, a town with the dubious distinction of being the first town ever sold on eBay. The unincorporated town initially went up for auction in 2002 with a price tag of $750,000 after the Lapple family, owners of the town since the early 1970s, failed to sell through the traditional real estate avenues. Eventually, the town sold on eBay for the price of $1.77 million to an anonymous Los Angeles-based buyer that remained hidden during the negotiations of the sale, which ultimately fell through. The town was bought, albeit for a million less than the initial eBay offer, soon after to another businessman. Bridgeville was sold twice more, though not through eBay over the next four years. Number 2. Ian Usher's life. We're all a little distraught following the end of a relationship, and many of us look for a fresh start to put our lives back into perspective, get some alone time and move on. When Ian Usher's wife left him, he took getting a fresh start to a whole new level when he decided to sell his entire life on eBay. Following his divorce in 2008, Usher put up his now infamous Life for Sale ad on eBay that included all of his worldly possessions, including his home and his car his friends, and even a potential position as a sales associate at his job. Usher made over $300,000 on the eBay auction and began a life of adventure in which he wanted to complete 100 of his life goals in 100 weeks. Unsurprisingly, Usher has also penned a few books, including A Life Sold, which Disney plans on turning into a feature film. Number 1. The Meaning of Life We all search for the meaning of life. Why are we here? What is our purpose? Well, in 2000, a North Carolina native apparently discovered the long sought after truth and decided he would help the rest of us out by selling it on eBay. The cryptic message accompanying the North Carolina native's auction stated, I have discovered the reason for existence and will be happy to share this information with the highest bidder. Apparently, the meaning of life is a relatively inexpensive item to purchase on eBay. Either that or most of us really don't care that much to know the answer. The bid started at a penny and netted the seller a mere $3.26 a week later, proving that there are much more important things than the meaning of life to spend one's money on. 